The title of this presentation really cuts to the core of what the problem is here. There are three missing handguns. I don't know when they were taken out of the apartment. I don't know who they were given to, but I do know I was accused by Eileen Canfer of stealing one. So this needs to be discussed. Look at the list of city agencies who knew about the missing firearms. I was never questioned about the problem here unless it was to interrogate me to find out where the missing gun that I was accused of stealing was. That is unacceptable to me. This slide is important because it shows the two-tier justice system we have in Queens County, New York. Three illegal handguns were in this apartment and disappeared. Someone took them out and someone transported them. Eileen Cantfer accused me and to the point of my father's death to his dying day, he thought I took one of the guns. I did not touch a gun. I stayed the hell away from them and yet I was still accused. Worse than that, I was interrogated by eight policemen in my father's living room. They shined flashlights in my eyes and I asked someone, they said they were checking for drugs to see whether my eyes would be dilated or not. Did anyone ask Eileen Canfer? How does she know I took the guns? Did she have any proof? Of course not. It has never happened. These are depictions of the missing handguns. These are not the actual handguns. I need to be clear about things like this. You never know when you're going to be accused. I was accused of stealing the gun on the left, 25 caliber Beretta. Eileen Canfer called the police, told them I had the gun. So what is the explanation of an action? I don't have the answers. Certainly the Queen's DA's office does. Should Melinda Katz know about this? Why doesn't she know about this? I called her office three different times. We discussed the Audra Bierman many times. She knew what was going on. She was speaking to Eileen Canfer. Obviously, I don't expect her to do anything about this. Laura Woods, her job is to protect the elderly. Well, she did anything but that. And then we have Thomas Kopp, who I met in February of 2022. I was reporting corruption to him. Well, he is corrupt as they come. And then we have NYCAPS. 40 emails, 30 calls. So in Phillips, Karen Minto did absolutely nothing. All she, they did was enable Eileen Canfer. 